Yo, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring another video. This one's going to be doing a, a poll style video. I do these from time to time when I'm just curious to hear what people think about a certain question, uh, usually relating to The Walking Dead. Uh, I did one a little while ago asking what people thought about uh, the character of Shane dying. And to let you guys know, uh, about 90%, last time I checked, 95%. Uh, of people out there do not want Shane to die uh, at the end of season two. Um, so they want to see his character go on further than that. Um, so that's quite a bit. I definitely didn't think that it was going to be that high. I thought there would be more people that would wanted to see uh, Shane's character die. Um, so just to give you guys a sort of an update on that, yeah, about 95% of the people do not want Shane to die. In this video, I want to know from you guys, what do you think about the Dale death? Um, and in particular, um, if we could undo it, would you? So if 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 in other words, you could, we you know we could go back uh, an episode and uh, and have them rewrite the episode and change the episode and have you know Dale's character stay, would you prefer that he stayed on longer? Um, I'm kind of doing this video because I'm a little bit disappointed in the direction the show is taking. Uh, starting in this episode, before this episode, I was cool. I was. I love season two all the way up until episode 11 because I don't really like the death of Dale personally. Uh, my opinion on it is that um, I think they should have kept uh, kept Dale around because in the comic book, Dale was such an interesting character for so long that when it, he eventually died, it was like, oh man, you know, like it sucks, you know. But um, the TV show, it, it still sucks, but I just felt like he didn't get enough time on the show like a lot of the other characters will in the future. Now, of course. Um, this is a result of, as uh, rumors uh, have it, um, the, the uh, Jeremy, the uh, the actor who plays um, Dale, uh, was good friends with Frank Darabont, the director that was fired, uh, that basically was the front row of the show. He basically came up with the idea to do a TV show for The Walking Dead, and he was uh, he was Frank Darabont was fired. So then um, Dale's actor uh, Jeremy, he basically. Um, decided that you know he wasn't going to stay in the show either so they basically just wrote him out to die at the end of the season pretty much so that way they could you know they wouldn't have to have him come back for the next season that kind of stuff because he didn't want to be a part of it anymore which is something that kind of sucks about the uh, the television show that's a downside isn't it of having a television show versus a comic book in a comic book you can do whatever the hell you want you don't have to worry about it but in the TV show, there are these other factors that come into play. You know, you've got the factor of, okay, if we're going to do 10 seasons, are there going to be actors that are going to want out? Because there will be. You know, I mean, 10 years is a long time for, for an actor to be working on one project. They might get other, you know, roles. They might get other offers for movies and stuff like this. And they might uh, jump ship. They might quit, you know. And when that happens... Um, you can either replace the actor, which doesn't doesn't usually work too well. I mean, just look at the first uh, you know four Batman films when they were changing. You know, you had like George Clooney and Val Kilmer and uh, Michael Keaton to start. You know, it, changing the actor out like that when you have a series, uh, it, it doesn't doesn't re usually work out too well. Sometimes it's okay. Uh, like for example, Batman Begins versus uh, Batman: The Dark Knight, where they changed out the character of Rachel from uh, Kate. Um, is it? Uh, What's her last name? Uh, whatever. Tom Cruise's uh, brainwashed uh, wife to um, Maggie Gyllenhaal. Uh, and a lot of people felt like that change was good because Maggie Gyllenhaal is uh, better than uh, what's-her-face. Um, but, you know, wh whatever. I mean, sometimes it works out, but usually people don't like it when they change out characters. So when you see an actor or a change out actor, so when you see an actor leave the show... In The Walking Dead, it's real easy. They just kill the actor. That's all they do. They just kill him. They just say, "Forget it." You know, we'll just we'll just kill them, and uh, that'll solve the problem. So who you know who cares of them not being around anymore? Um, this one felt like it really felt like they just wrote it in. Like they didn't lead up to it. There was no build. There was no uh, you know great moments for Dale other than him arguing with everybody. You know about and it's kind of like the writers gave uh, Dale's actor and Dale's character a big fu. You know, um, I'll continue in a minute. What I want to say is that um, anybody uh, currently who uh, thinks that the the death, basically, you don't like it, give me a thumbs up. Anybody who thinks that it was cool that you liked the death and you disagree with me, give me give me a thumbs down so that we know how many people uh, actually thought that it was a good death and, the, and, the, and approve of it or people that are like myself and are like, no, that death sucked. Give me a thumbs up if you think the death sucked. If you disagree with me, give me a thumbs down. So uh, continuing on from there, 
I just, you know, when you look at it, it just looks like a writer was just like, oh, you don't want to be on the show anymore? Okay, we'll just write you in. And, and, you know, they gave him the finger because when you look at the episode, the way it was developing, it was sort of similar to what was happening behind the scenes. You had Dale, who was basically like, you guys can't, you know, standing up for Frank Darabont, being like, it was his idea to make this show. He's my friend, and he brought me on board. And you guys are firing him for no reason, just because he wants more budgets when you guys should be giving the budgets because the show is doing well. It's, you know, you're just being asshole businessmen, basically. Uh, and you're and you're going to undermine and destroy the show, basically, you know, AMC, that is, the, the execs who, who are involved with it. And um, if you look at the writing in that episode in particular, you've got Dale, he's arguing with every other member of the group, and nobody else, none of the other characters are basically agreeing with him or barely agreeing with him at all. They're just going to continue forward. It's kind of, uh, you know, symbolic of what's going on behind the scenes with the actors. You know, you've got Dale, who's, who, who, who Jeremy, who is uh, the actor who plays Dale, was probably trying to talk to the other guys being like, you know, we got to get Frank Darabont back. We got to make them change their minds. They can't fire him like this. And then they, you know, it, to me, it seems like they gave him a big F you by writing that in to, to the story to make it look like, you know, the same type of situation was happening outside of it. And, you know, giving him a big finger because they killed him off like that. Even though he did want out, you know, it just, uh, that, anyway, that's, that's, that's kind of the way I took it. So, in that way, it was kind of ingenious that they made it symbolic like that. But there was no build to it. An episode ago, you know, Dale was barely, like, you, you know, he had barely any lines for a little while. Ever since him and Shane had the confrontation where, you know, back in episode seven where Dale was hiding the guns, you know. And, you know, further than that, too, uh, in the comic book, Dale seemed smarter. Like, the decisions he was making seemed to be better to me. He did disagree with Rick a lot, but in certain situations, he made the right call. For example, spoilers for anyone who wants to read the comic book, anybody else who just likes the TV show, this is for you. Uh, later on in a couple seasons, basically, equivalency of... They, uh, the group goes to a prison to live there, uh, and they basically live there, and there's another group led by a character named the Governor who wants to take over the prison. So Dale's decision is, let's get the hell out of here. These guys have tanks, they have, you know, tons of guns, they have tons of manpower, we don't have enough, let's get out of here. Dale, Andrea, and a few other people leave because they're like, we can't fight these guys. You know, they're going to kill us. They're going to take the prison. We don't need the prison. We'll leave. And they go back to Herschel's farm. And it ends up being the right decision because almost everybody at the prison is annihilated, pretty much. Um, I'm not going to tell you exactly who. You guys who have read it, you know. But anyway, th this was the type of character that Dale was in the comic books. And it's unfortunate that due to circumstances relating to the the cast and AMC the network and the TV show we're not going to get to see any of those you know that that wisdom of Dale I mean you know they build up this great character of Dale being like you know kind of like the wise old man the grandpa of the group the father of the group so to speak uh, you know the voice of reason when it comes to humanity and they build up all these things and then boom they kill him so just definitely a downside of having a, a television show versus a comic book Whereas in the comic book, you can do whatever you want with the characters, and they net, you know, they can, you can kill them right when you want to. You don't have to worry about actors, you know, getting pissed off if, if somebody's fired. You don't have to worry about stuff like this, because we will see this in The Walking Dead in the next five or six seasons if it continues on that long. I mean, who knows now that it's on this path? Um, but if it continues on that long, we could see a lot of characters drop out, a lot of actors being like, okay, you know, I can't, you know. Like, I can't, uh, I can't keep doing the show. I got another gig or I've had enough. I'm not coming back for next season. You know, this kind of stuff, just actors not wanting to come back and continue doing the show. I can see that happening. Uh, I just think that the way they handled Dale's death was terrible. I mean, it was really awful. The buildup to it was him arguing with the group, you know, nobody listening to him. And then him basically... And this is something that I got to look into further um, before I kind of have it nailed down. I want to know what you guys think about this. Please comment about this. What was Dale doing out there? Okay, was he uh, keeping watch at night over the camp? And did he hear like uh, what was that? Like a, a deer or something that was out there, or some kind of animal that was uh, down? And did he go out because he heard it, or he he saw something going on, so he went out to investigate? Like, what was he doing out there? Was he going out to commit suicide because nobody in the group, you know, he didn't want to live in that world? I mean, he was saying earlier in the episode that he didn't want to live in a world, you know, like that where they couldn't they couldn't be humane. And he didn't feel like he could relate to the group anymore because of the fact that 
they were going to do this to Randall, he he refused to be a part of it, and he you know he kind of realized that he is wrong, and that this is the way the world is now, and maybe he doesn't want to be a part of that world, and so he possibly committed uh, committed suicide there. Um, interesting stuff. So you know, let me know what you guys think. Was he committing suicide, or um, was no? Was he just on watch that night and just checking out what was going on over there and then just got basically jumped by a walker. Um, the other thing too I wanted to say is that uh, I know that Dale's probably in his 60s and whatever um, and that definitely slows down your reflexes and stuff like that and at night I'm sure the thing could jump up on you but he did have a rifle with him and he did survive until this time. Are we to assume that he's never really defended himself against a walker? You know, up until now, like this was the only time he's gone one on one with a walker, and he's uh, gone zero and one against it. You know, I just, I just feel like personally, like uh, the death just wasn't handled well. I think, you know, to be honest, I know he's in his sixties and stuff like that. I still think with a rifle he could have handled that damn thing. I mean, zombies, you know, in the Walking Dead show, they're pretty quick. They're not the slowest zombies. They're not the George A. Romero, uh, Dawn of the Dead in the seventies or eighties. You know, slow walking zombies that walk at you really slowly. They are a little quicker, and they, they do have, you know, like lurkers where they'll lurk around and then, you know, jump out to get you, this kind of stuff. But I don't know. I just felt kind of like, I know he's 60 and stuff, but, I mean, this zombie was weak. I mean, it was weak. It couldn't even get Carl. Carl was able to run away from it, and it was stuck in mud for a long time. So, or I guess we don't know how long, but it could barely get its, uh, its feet out of the mud when Carl was, like, right in front of it. So, I don't know. Me, personally, I would like to see. I think it would have been better if there was uh, at least two zombies, maybe even three. Two, I guess. Okay, two would be enough. And then maybe Dale, you know, they jump, basically, they jump Dale when they're eating a, you know, eating a deer or something. Or one's eating the deer, and Dale, you know, gets ready and then shoots that one, and then is cocking uh, the uh, the rifle or whatever. And then, you know, maybe the other zombie jumps him and, and eats him or bites him or something like that. I think that personally would have been um, probably made more sense to me and, and wouldn't have made him look so helpless. Didn't the scene make him look damn helpless? I mean, it really did. Like, it made him look pathetic in a lot of ways. And, you know, God, I, I hate that. You know, I really do hate that because I just feel like, um, you know, or maybe what should have happened is the zombie might have uh, bit him on the ankle. Okay, that would have been good. If the zombie bit him on the ankle and took a big chunk out, that would have made sense because, you know, he's in the grass, he's doing this thing, maybe one zombie's eating the, the deer or whatever it was. He shoots that one, and while he's doing it, another zombie sneakily comes up and bites him on the ankle that's lying in the grass. That would have made sense because then, you know, a 60-year-old with their reflexes, they wouldn't be able to react in time. But one-on-one -on -one against, a, you know, a drawn-out zombie, and he's got a rifle. How did he survive up until this point is what I want to know. It's just to me... I, I guess what I'm saying is I didn't like the overall death scene. I didn't like the build-up to it. I felt like the, the writers at AMC were kind of being dicks to, to the, the actor and what they did to his character. Um, so definitely, guys, please vote. Um, thumbs down if you think the death was cool, and uh, thumbs up if you agree with me and you thought that the death just sucked. Uh, I'm going to do a video probably pretty soon talking about the direction of the show because, you know, this was, I gave the episode a decent rating. I gave it a 9 out of 10. But now that I think about it again, just because of the shock value of, of the death, I think I'd have to lower that to maybe like a 7, maybe a 6. I mean, you know, I really, I guess I just really, really didn't like the death scene. Uh, and, uh, you know, I really wish that they would have found, a, like I said, that way that I just mentioned that I came up with in, in, on the top of my head within 30 seconds or 5 seconds of talking. That would have been better because it wouldn't have made him look so helpless. It just seems like the writers just really wanted to be like, you know, or the execs at, uh, at AMC just wanted to be like, screw you, man. If you're, you know, if, if you don't want to be a part of this show just because Frank Darabont's gone, then screw you. We're going to screw your character over. I don't know. To me, that just sounds like what it is because to me, it doesn't feel natural that he wouldn't be able to defend himself against one walker. I know he's old, but still, guys, I got to say one walker, one on one. He's got a rifle. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think about it. You know, did you like the death scene? Did you hate it? I personally, now that I think about it, I've given it time to, you know, uh, you know, sort of for me to analyze it and stuff. I got to say, I hated it. Up until this point, I have loved the television show and every decision they've made. I think this is the first time in the Walking Dead TV series where I was like, no, <laughs> bad, bad direction. 
bad decision. Bad writing with Carl earlier, too. I know I talked about this already, but Carl's not supposed to be a numbskull. He's not supposed to be an idiot, like a stupid kid. He's supposed to be, you know, uh, mature for his age and hardened. You know, he's not supposed to be a, a, a retard. So bad writing there, too. So, you know, this episode, you know, episode 11 wasn't the greatest, I think. And, and the death of Dale was shocking. But now that I've thought about it a little bit, I really, really don't like it. And, and too, like, the, the whole thing, I talked about this earlier with, with the zombie ripping his guts open, like, like, how? Like, you know, like, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I just, I don't know. I, I don't get it, guys. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I, anyway, I won't drone on too much longer because I feel like this video is going on too long. Let me know what you guys thought about the death of Dale. Was it good? Uh, was it bad? Let me know, guys. Later. Peace.